Hi Nijas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Oamine Chwajaru aka Miss Fair Focal running back for all entertainment. If it's the first time joining me on Ms. Demilo, welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you and do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. It's at Boldly Oami. Now my ninjas, I just want to get back into this. I'm gonna start doing shout outs from Monday. So everyone that has paid for shout outs from Monday, we're gonna be, you know, having a lot of shout outs that are starting to come. I know that I've not been on my A game and I am sorry for that, but I'm back guys. And I, you guys know when I'm saying I'm back, I'm back. Okay, anyway, you guys will see. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this chende. We're gonna talk about Promise Magunyane guys. And Promise Magunyane is actually back. She had an interview with Gogo Skoteni and so i watched the whole interview because honestly i was like i want to like just understand who promised magonyane is maybe if there's someone that is actually like asking questions i'll be able to get information you know and then i feel like i honestly did you know for some of you that do not know uh there was like i would say maybe pff, not really a fight you know, just maybe a, a matter of we don't see eye to eye. We don't stand for the same thing, uh, promise and I. You know, I believe that if a man cheats, I leave, you know. And obviously, she doesn't. And so, I don't think that is reason enough for us to fight. I think that we can all look at two things in different ways and we can coexist and that is fine uh the only part about her that i did not like was the fact that even from back then before we blocked each other her content would usually be like almost like bashing towards divorced women you know she would praise marriage and somehow down divorced women i'm like that is not something that we're going to do and those are the vibes that i actually got once she even spoke about how i did not leave my ex because he cheated it was because of other things that i'm like no honey i never tried to make it work you know you better get it right but anyway as i'm saying i did watch the whole interview because i really just wanted to understand exactly what was going on again if you're someone that did not know what was going on she actually had an event called my husband this my husband that right and within that she actually was talking about how there's a girl that dated her husband who was her then boyfriend at the time um and then she broke up with him and then the girl went back you know and then after that by the time she and her then boyfriend with her husband now got back together the lady was pregnant right so she decided to marry this guy even though he had impregnated someone i don't know how many months she was but allegedly seven months i do not know you guys i don't know i don't know if it's seven months when they got back together or seven months when they got married so that's the part that i would say that i do not know um and so that did cause a lot of hoo-ha on the internet especially even for me i was like girl but you are not really putting any accountability towards your husband that's what i felt i felt she was not putting any accountability towards her husband and also she was saying that she does not want that child you know abari like you know and i was like nope that's not what we're going to do you know if you are going to take your husband you better take him with everything they even asked her like you know his baggage and she said she doesn't look at the kids as baggages that is good however when gog scotani asked her how many kids she has she said she has two kids however her husband has four kids in total and obviously when you're a wife it means that you are a mother to all your husband's children right and especially if you're married to a cheating man you gotta be prepared to be mother of the nation because these niggas they cheat without a condom some of them condoms break some of them go in school you know you never know and then the quincy not the consequences but what comes out from sex sometimes it's pregnancy you know so basically that is that but with this interview i do feel like i got to understand promise a little bit more so promise magunyane has admitted that yes her husband cheats even in marriage she has found him cheating i don't know if i ever posted the tiktok or not but there was a day that i was talking to say i've never met a woman that has never been cheated on that would publicly sit and say if my husband cheats i'm never leaving i've never and i've said that for me i have a feeling that the message is not for anybody but the side chicks or you know what you should know that i'm not going anyway so even if you're trying anything you better like stop or whatever you understand so basically what she's saying is that everyone has got their own space Yenar, even if her husband cheats, she will never ever leave. And the reason why she would never ever leave is because the girl wants her position. And so when she's saying the girl wants her position, she never said anything about, okay, what does it mean for her husband to cheat? Because the, 
again for me the focus was going on the girl like okay that girl wants my position what does your husband want when he's going out there to cheat the part that i have to say that i agreed with her is when she was talking about how she does not internalize cheating if he cheats it has nothing to do with her but his own parking inadequate okay so i would say that i fully 100 percent agree with her when it comes to that i also refuse to internalize somebody's cheating you understand like if you are cheating it has nothing to do with me it has nothing to do with there's something i was not doing or there's where i was lacking or whatever because i fully do believe that if there's anything wrong that i'm doing you have to sit down and talk to me if there's where i'm lacking you have to sit down and talk to me and then after that obviously if i'm not changing divorce me leave me and go get the one that you want but the problem is that people are very selfish you know they want to have their cake and also eat it which is not a flying thing for me as owami it flies with promise and i do have to say that guys like her husband I saw somebody say that her husband trained her well. I don't know. I don't think that is her husband training her. I personally think that like, you know, whoever trained Promise, they did train her well she when it comes to this. But the mentality that she has is like mentality one nineteen sixty. Uh to say that, you know, my husband nah, if he cheats the fault is the other woman's you know there was a lot of things that she actually spoke about she addressed the whole Radokhanako situation she addressed queen lee situation um you know but now the only thing that i'm honestly just looking forward to hearing because as i said we've blocked each other is that maybe she can also start having to give women advice on how to survive a husband that cheats instead of having like my husband this my husband that only you know talking about other things like also have content around how you survive a cheating husband how you when you found out you were able to move past that and be at a position where she's happy now because let's not lie guys there's a lot of women that are staying in marriages where the husbands are cheating it's mostly common that it is the husband that um actually cheats <clears throat> You know and there are many women that are staying there me being a woman that was once married and got cheated on and felt the pain guys i do not even want to lie there is no pain that i can compare that to except for the pain of losing my mother that's how deep that ish was <laughs> it was really that deep and i remember like you know even when i was still staying there just yo guys my yo my emotions everything was just yo i say my own lie that's that thing is very painful so i know that there are those that do not have you know enough guts it's me indeed to say i'm gonna just leave i think that promise is the perfect person to can come out here and now educate to say guys when your husband cheats this is how you do it this is how you look at life you look at that woman you don't look at him because if you look at him you'll have to hold him accountable and if you have to start look uh, holding him accountable you is going to want to leave so he cheats we blame the other woman how come the is that side this one here i don't know you know so i think that that's the type of content that she should also start actually doing and the reason why i'm saying that is the type of content i think that she should start doing is because she is like a marriage content creator so if you're a marriage content creator you are married to a husband that is a cheater you are married to a husband that has two baby mamas uh you know outside which obviously we do understand he had those kids before she was married there's a lot guningi guys that goes uh, that is going on there so i think that she should also address how to be a good stepmother how to deal with your husband's side i mean i mean uh baby mamas and how to deal with your husband's side chicks how to be happy um you know in the midst of all these storms that actually go on and i think it's good that she's that one person that is coming out and she's now being open which she wasn't at first you know after the whole queen lee situation that is when i feel like a girl maybe decided to say i'm gonna go out there and put it right the way it was um and i do have to say that i think the attacks that people did on her they actually went to a point where she did listen to some of the information because when she was having the interview with gox cotton instead of saying that oh that girl dated my husband this and she said 
my then boyfriend and her dated so now it wasn't only just one side it was now two people she does understand it's her boyfriend at the time and this lady that dated not this lady dating has her boyfriend because he was also there they were together so i actually liked that or at least you know maybe she learned something when it came to that um the other part again that i'm gonna go in and say is this guys we actually do not want you guys to leave your cheating husbands i think that this is a topic for another day that will be on bold low because i'm about to start a series but honestly i i don't want you to leave your cheating husband if you don't want to i do have people close to me that are staying with cheating husbands i can have that if you feel this is the life you want for yourself who am i to say that this is not the life you should have no you deserve the life that you want for yourself the day that you feel you know what his cheating is too much for me i'm going to pack my bags and leave that's when you're going to leave i as a friend as a family member as a relative as a sister as a whatever my only responsibility towards you is supporting you if you ask for my opinion i will give it to you but i'm never ever going to force nor am i going to be angry if you decide that you're going to choose something different i won't do that so this narrative where it's almost like oh they want us to leave our husband no we want you to stay with your husbands if that is what you want for yourself however the advice i would give is that if you're someone that is out there even if your husband cheats I don't think it's the wisest to actually speak about it publicly to say that even if he cheats, I'm never leaving. I would rather maybe say, I don't know, we will see if that happens. I would rather say something like that. Because like when you say, ah, you know, I just, she did talk about it, but I was just like, okay, you know. I, I feel like for me it's just basically saying that okay here dali hamba uyo jola i'm here nam here and i think what the only interesting part for me is that when they asked promise magunyan if she has ever cheated she said she has never she said she was tempted the time she found her husband cheating but she didn't you know my question is if she had cheated would mr magunyan had stayed I guess that's a question that will never be answered because she's not a cheater and she's not going to cheat even if whatever happens but i won't lie i feel that she's very brave she is definitely tapping into a very different side most people stay with cheating partners but they never talk about it there's a huge niche that is actually women that are being cheated on and are staying they do need coping mechanisms and i think promise makunyane is one of those that can actually advise accordingly you understand the last part that i'm going to talk about she did touch on how you know when gox courtney asked her like why is it that you know she's always in this tiktok feuds and stuff um and why you know maybe people may have a problem with her when it came to divorced women she actually spoke about how maybe some divorced women right um maybe when they look at her they regret or they left and for me it was literally a joke okay i'm gonna go ahead and say this because i'm a divorcee that left i wasn't left i left i know a lot of women that actually walked away i've never met one that walked away and it's like yo i wish i didn't most of us or everyone i've ever met it's like yo thank god Ngapuma. thank god i'm not there anymore because remember guys we do not divorce the husbands we married we divorce complete strangers divorce guys is something what there one of the reasons why divorce is something that is very hard is because it takes a mirror and it's here you have to face it you have to ask yourself so many questions when did this start happening how did i not see that i was married to this type of a person you go through so many emotions you go through the emotions of feeling stupid you go through the emotions of being angry with yourself you go through the emotions of being sad you go through so many emotions that by the time you're done you have now literally seen this this nigga for who he really is and you're like not even if i was dying would i ever go back that's most of the people you know but i know that it's not everyone and yes maybe there are those that are sitting and they're like oh i wish i never left i've never 
met one especially people that are doing well for themselves that would think oh you know i wish i never left maybe if you were married to a very rich man and you were financially benefiting you would think oh i should have never left because you know but i don't know i just have never met one you know but anyway i do have to say that promise magunya if you ever watch this video girl i really honestly have no beef with you um i didn't like the fact that obviously she was talking about the child or i'm like no that's not what we do children are innocent and if you choose to stay with a cheating husband what whoever whatever child he makes out there is your child as well if you're accepting the husband you gotta accept the kids as well you understand that's all i was saying but you gotta get hearty lady call and see and if that's the case i am sorry but my opinion still stands you know that's basically it but i do have to say that with this interview i did get to hear a little bit more of her in depth she comes off as a bit stupid to me but with that interview i felt like okay you know what she does have some sense she knows what she wants it's not what everyone else wants but she knows what she wants and she knows what she's doing and as long as she's happy we're happy for her anyway i do want you guys to go and comment down below what you guys think i love you guys stay blessed and i will see you guys my next upload bye ninjas